Okay, greetings everyone. My name is Joe Atkins. This is our session for Monday, January the 28th, 2019. It is an exciting time. We are getting ready to lead into our February 2nd Fund Me to Infinity plan launch. That will be this Saturday. We have one more Super Saturday launch this weekend. And if you wanna be a vital part of our continued success, then we ask that you participate not only for the rest of the week, but you sit down and you start making a list of everyone that you know and start inviting them. I'll be back here Thursday night after our State of the Union call. Every Thursday night is our leadership call for gold and above. You will get in an email until we get the community tool chest up. Once we have the community tool chest up, you will be being updated in the back office, excuse me, I got a cough drop just because my got a little tickle on my throat. And you will be getting an update via email for gold and above. And then we will lead right into our leadership call here. And I will do training again on Thursday night. So how are we going to start tonight? We're going to start with two videos. The first video is seven minutes long. And I want everybody to pay attention to this and get ready and take some notes. Then we'll come right back with a short 10 minute video and I'll go into training. Here we go. Heard that if you could win the morning, you could win the day. One of the ways to doing it is to create regular rituals and routines so you don't have to think about what you need to do. And if you could set up routines and habits, especially early in the day, you could benefit from the science momentum and create positive momentum as opposed to being reactive like how a lot of people do they, they pick up their phone the first thing and they start reacting and driving distraction and and reaction as opposed to proactively spending time with self-care and self-love and having a vision and a direction for your day so let's get into it now as i jump into this again this is my ideal day so sometimes I can't do all of this, but I can do as many as I can. So the first thing I do when I wake up is I recall my dreams. When you're dreaming is that you're actually processing and integrating and working on solutions, your subconscious mind, to the things that you're focusing on during the daytime. But most people forget their dreams. After that, I get out of bed and I make the bed. Okay, and now this is something that is obvious that most of you do, but if you don't do it, Take two minutes and make your bed because that's a success habit, right? If we're talking about positive momentum, the science momentum, getting things done, checking things off, doing it with excellence, then make your bed. It's worth the one or two minutes because, again, how you do anything is how you do everything. And to have a good check uh, mark on something like making your bed is very powerful because it teaches you to be able to do something really well and excellence like they do in the military and the other benefit is when you come back at the end of the day you come back to success you come back to your bed already made after that what I'll do is I'll go into the kitchen and I'll have a tall glass of water because you know we we use a lot of water and most of us are very dehydrated at night uh, I'll take my supplements there I, I take my probiotics which is the big one because your gut is your second brain we talk about quick brain you know being your your brain in your head but you also have incredible amount of nerve cells in your gut and so I want to make sure I'm, that's being fed and and healthy so I take my probiotics um, then what I do is I do my breathing right I'm thinking about the things I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on here I'm thinking about excellence I'm thinking about hydration I'm thinking about oxygen whatever your breathing technique is I focus on breathing so whether it's box breathing or alpha breathing um, whether it's Wim Hof's method, I do a breathing technique because I want to fully oxygenate my body and, you know, my brain, which is obviously part of my body also as well. And maybe we could do another episode dedicated towards that. I do my meditation in the morning and also later in the afternoon or evening, sometimes before I go to bed, but I always do an early morning meditation. I do it for about 20 minutes. Mindfulness is so important. So I want to have a clear mind as I enter the day. And so meditation puts me in that space. 15, 20 minutes, some of you use Headspace app, um, some of you use the Muse device, use some kind of technology, um, I meditate then. From there, I do one or two minutes of just movement. And this could be different, it could be calisthenics, it could be burpees, but I just wanna get into my body after I meditate. Um, and so I move it, my body, pretty intensely for a couple minutes. And it can, if I'm in a hotel room, maybe I'm just doing jumping jacks, but I'm basically, or I'm doing crunches for two minutes straight, I'm just waking up my body. That is not my exercise for the day. It's just for me to get my heart rate uh, beating and getting some movement and in my body. From there, I take a shower and I, it's cold shower. And I do believe in cold therapy. It works for me, it helps 
me to reset my nervous system. Ice baths are, are very powerful because it helps, like if you hit your knee, you put uh, ice on it to reduce swelling and inflammation. This cold therapy is a very powerful way of resetting your, uh, your nervous system and reducing inflammation. So I take a cold shower. When I get out, I go through my normal routine, right, of shaving and, and brushing my teeth, all that good stuff. Um, then I, I make a tea, and my favorite tea is like a brain tea. You know, it's a, it's a combination of goto cola, ginkgo, lion's mane, some MCT oil, and some other gems. Um, as I go through it, I sip my tea, and that's where I write my journal. And I'm a big believer in journaling. I've been doing it since I've been in college. And I feel like some of the most amazing thinkers of our time and in, in history, they, they journal and they keep diaries. I mean, you think about Edison, Einstein, uh, Da Vinci, I mean, their, their journals are, are, are priceless, right? Um, from there, uh, right from journaling, since I'm writing, and I like writing, um, there's a lot of studies saying that handwriting is better than actually typing. Then, since I'm writing already, I'm going to my to-do list. And we all have an ongoing, most of us have an ongoing to-do list of things that we need to get done. For me, the big thing is I just want to be able to accomplish uh, as a total win three things for work and three things personally. And they don't have to be all epic big things, but I just feel like that if I could get three of my work goals done on my to-do list and three of my personal things to do, then it's been a great day. And, um, you know, it's kind of like my friend Clay Hebert talks about a champagne moment. It's like your champagne moment when you're looking back at the end of the day saying, yes, today was a great day. Today I crushed it. Today I won. And um, in addition to my to-do list, um, I also have a list, uh, to feel list, um, because I feel like we are a lot of our of who we are is our states and emotions and i think i don't want it to be just where i happen to feel a certain way by accident it's by by its design it's the metaphor i always talk about the difference between a thermometer and a thermostat a thermometer reacts to the environment and i feel like sometimes if i act like a thermometer i'm just going to react to everything that's going on in my world and i just might have a, some good positive states as opposed to being a thermostat where i set in advance a standard a goal you know my for my to feel list certain feelings i want to feel throughout the day so i can design it that way to feel love to feel curious to feel bewilderment right connection uh, gratitude um I also have, besides a to-do list and a to-feel list, I also look at my to-be list. Like, who do I want to be today? And, you know, do I want to be a good partner? Do I want to be a good friend and a good, um, a good leader, a good teacher, a good coach? I feel into what I want to be that day. Because it's not just about, you know, we're not, it's kind of cliche, but there's a truth to it. We're not, we're not human doings, right? We're human beings. So who do I want to be today? Um, from there, if I have time, I will, and I'll make time for the things that are most important, is I read. I read for about 20, 30 minutes. So after my, I do my reading, then I go and I, um, I make my brain smoothie, brain berries, which are your blueberries and avocado and your leafy vegetables um, and water and everything. And when I'm done with that smoothie, I go through my brain training in uh, one of our quick learning online programs at quicklearning.com. We have an online speed reading course, online memory course, uh, thinking course, academic success course. That's where I do my, my brain training. And I like to do it in the morning because um, I want to jumpstart my brain, my mind, if you will, um, and also my body. And that's the, the goal for me, in that focusing in the morning. Um, so after I do certain brain trainings, um, which are all in our programs, then I really start my day. Okay, part two is Law of Attraction, and this is about becoming a billionaire, seriously, from Jim Rohn, and it's about 11 minutes long. I got rich for the time I was 31. Here's the best advice I give my teenage friends. It was easy. What can I tell you? It was hard. No, it was easy. I'm a millionaire by 31. Let me tell you how I did it. I got three reasons why I got rich by the time I was 31. Let me give you those. Here's number one. I lived in America. I mean, how lucky can you get? America's easy. That's why everybody wants to come here. People haven't plotted and schemed for 50 years saying if I could just get to Poland, everything would be okay. No. No. The boat people are not desperately trying to get to Vietnam. No. They're not squeezing through the fence to try to get into Mexico. No. Neil Diamond says, looks like everybody's heading for They're all coming to America. Why? Everybody wants to come here by every means possible to get here. Why? Because America's easy. 
So if you go home with anything, go home with that. Mr. Rohn reminded us that America's easy. He got rich by the time he was 31. America's easy. Bangladesh is hard. <laughs> Just take that home. Here's the average yearly income in Bangladesh, $120. That would be hard. Tell me hard versus easy. So America's easy. Cambodia would be hard. The Khmer Rouge killed two million Cambodians to make communism work. That's hard. America is easy. India would be hard. They got their challenges these days. Tough. America's easy. China would be really hard. Underline really and make a study. It's hard. America's easy. And now in about 90 days, you can have that memorized. <laughs> Tell me, that's all you need. I got rich for the time I was 31. I lived in America. America's easy. Now here's number two. I found an opportunity. That's all you got to do in America, search for an opportunity. Take the first one, right? Try it. If that isn't it, it leads to another. One door closes, another door opens. This is what's exciting about America. It's full of opportunity. A chance to try and then what? Try again and then what? Try again, never, never run out of opportunity to try. See if you can't better your life and your health and your future and your bank account and your income, make your fortune here. I lived in America, number one, found an opportunity, number three. Number two, here's number three. I found a teacher. What a grand and glorious, unique thing that was for me at that time in my life. I found a teacher willing to teach me. And his teaching came in two parts. Here's what it was, very simple. Number one, Mr. Rohn, you have evidently messed up <laughs> between ages 19 and 25. Now, I could understand that, but he didn't leave me there. He said, now, here's the answers on how to change it all, the next six years, so that the next six years won't be like the last six. What an incredible teacher. Taught me how to have a whole brand new six years. First six, what? I messed up. Second six, what? I got it right. Second six years, I became a millionaire. During that second six years, the government was about the same. I'm telling you. Interest rates were about what? The same. The pay scale was about what? The same. Lord knows my negative relatives were the same. Circumstances were about the same. The economy was about the same. The unions and their philosophy was about the same. What was going on around me was about the same. Then how come I got rich that second six years? I was not the same. I changed. <laughs> and so, Mr. Rohn, if you can do that, can anybody do it? Yes, I invite you on that journey. Anytime you want to, you can stay the same so that the next six years will be like the last six. Take a look at the last six years. And I'm telling you, the next six years of your life is going to be like the last six. Unless, or unless you want to count on this short list that we call not much list. Most everybody's counting on this not much list. What if all of your negative relatives turn positive? What would that do for your future and your fortune? What? Not much. Not much. What if prices came down a little? What will that do for your future? I'm telling you, not much. If the economy gets a little better, what will that do? Not much. Now that the Democrats are in power, what's that going to do for your future? Not much. Uh, not much. We, got it. we could get a good debate going here. <laughs> If the Republicans would have stayed in power, what would that have done? <laughs> not much. Hey, we could get a good debate going here. I'm telling you, it's a not much list. If you don't make plans of your own, guess what? You'll probably always fit into someone else's plans. Guess what someone else may have planned for you? <laughs> <laughs> then what's going to make the difference? You're going to have to make the difference. You're going to have to take charge. Now, Mr. Schoff, my teacher, gave me a promise, and I want to give you that promise now. Here was the promise I got, and I bring it to you. Here's what my teacher said. If you will change, Mr. Rohn, he said, if you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change the government. You don't have to change prices. You don't have to change taxes. Forget all that. He said, if you will change, everything will change for you. 
then the first thing you start changing is what? Your philosophy. You start changing your mind. You start changing how you think. You start picking up new ideas and information. Gather new knowledge. Make better decisions about what's valuable. And I'm telling you, if you'll do that, your whole life will change. Your health will change. Your relationship with your family will change. Your ability to cope with challenges and problems will change. I'm telling you, income, promotions, all of it will change. If you will change, it'll all change. If you won't change, it isn't going to change. You can keep your fingers crossed if you want to and hope they'll straighten it out. You can wish for the wind not to blow quite as severe, but I'm telling you, wishing for the wind to change in your favor, I mean, we call naive at best. Don't do this any longer. Wish for a better wind. The key is to wish for the wisdom to set a better sail. Utilize whatever wind that blows to take you wherever you want to go. That is the philosophy I picked up at age 25, and it revolutionized my whole life. And here's what I found. I found it was easy. I got rich by the time I was 31 and it was easy. Now here's my definition of easy. Got to jot this down. My definition of easy, meaning something I could do. I figure if it's something you can do, it's easy. Now here's a parenthesis. Parenthesis, I worked hard at it. I found something I could do, which was easy, but I worked hard at it. I got up early and stayed up late, worked hard that six years. But what I did was easy, meaning it was something I could do. You say, well, Mr. Owen, if it was so easy, how come everybody else around you during that six years, how come they didn't get rich? Here's why. It's easy not to. <laughs> how else would you describe it? That's it. You say, no, no. For all of the rest of them, it was hard for them and it was easy for you. That's not true. You couldn't debate me on that in front of this intelligent audience. But here's the challenge. Let me give it to you in a philosophical phrase. I tend to be a little philosophical. Here it is. The things that are easy to do are also easy not to do. That's the difference between success and failure. So you've got the choice here today of one of two easies. Easy to or what? Easy not to. I can give you in one sentence how I got rich by the time I was 31. Here it is in one sentence. I did not neglect to do the easy things I could do every day for six years. Underline. I did not neglect. That's the key. I found something easy I could do that led to fortune and I did not neglect to do it. Major reason for not having everything you want in America. Major reason for not having more of what you want in America. More health, more money, more power, more influence, more everything. Major reason why you don't get it. Simple answer. Neglect. Neglect. And here's the problem with neglect. It starts as an infection. And if you don't take care of it, it becomes a disease. And here's what else is the problem. One neglect leads to another. Neglect to do wise things with your money, you'll probably neglect to do wise things with your time. Neglect to do wise things with your time, you'll probably neglect to do wise things with your business. One leads to another leads to another. Pretty soon, neglect has you by the throat, emptying your purse, emptying your heart, emptying all of your chances for equities and power and all the good things. Neglect. What if you should be walking around the block every day for your good health and you don't? I'm telling you, you're on the wrong track. You should do it, you could do it, you don't do it. That's called formula for disaster. All you've got to do is let that and a few other things accumulate for six years, and now you're driving what you don't want to drive, wearing what you don't want to wear, living where you don't want to live, doing what you don't want to do, maybe having become what you really didn't want to become. I'm telling you, that's it. Just neglect along, drift along, and it's got you by the throat. It'll take all your values, leave you with just a little bit of dust in the summer wind, and it'll soon be gone. I hope I said that well. That's it. It's where I found myself at age 25 until my teacher came along and said, Mr. Owen, up till now you've messed up. Let's see if we can't clean that up, change it all. I did. Changed my life. Not just the money, all the rest of the values that came pouring in when I understood that it was me. It was me. So take the easy approach. This stuff's easy to figure out. Getting rich is easy. I teach it to teenagers how to be rich by 40. 35, if you're extra bright, this stuff is not difficult. I love to teach kids enterprise. It's easy. It's easy to do it, or it's easy not to do it. It's a fundamental choice that each one of us make.
So let's think of this of not six years. Let's think of this of three years or five years. I know there's people on this call and people that's in this program are in their 70s or 80s. Some have been very successful in the past. Some have brought hundreds of thousands of people to program. We have other people in their 40s, 50s, or 60s that's been successful. And we have the millennials out there that we're searching for. There is a new breed of telemarketer out there and network marketer that has yet not yet heard about crowdfunding guaranteed or heard about networking and what is going to happen here in the next decade. Crowdfunding is a bulging business. Since the law was passed in 2012, we're now up to $30 billion. $30 billion in 2018. Six short years. By 2025, it's supposed to be up over $300 billion. You're in the middle of a paradigm change. When there has a paradigm change, you sometimes have to change your sense of direction and come retrain. People who were working in factories, the Industrial Revolution in the 20th century, had to become internet savvy, the technology world of the 21st century. I got a feeling in the 19th century, there was some terrific people that made saddles. I bet there was all the way to the end, people who made the best saddles that were worth the price of admission. And all of a sudden, they had a thing called cars take over. And it changed the world. So we are in a unique time. And it can be easy for those of you that want to participate. Now, you are here tonight for a reason. You're in this program for a reason. This program is $29 one time to get involved. And you are going to meet all kinds of people during the journey. But what you have to do is you have to come up with a simplistic step to success to help others. And you have to eradicate negativity, eradicate those who want to gripe, moan, or groan, and look for like-minded individuals. We call it a gold rush because you are going to be mining for people that have the same mindset that you have. You're going to be up against the Baskin Robbins flavor of the week. You're going to have people that come into this that want to try to change the program so they can make as much money as they can, as fast as they can, and go to the next one next week. They have no scruples. They have no values. And they start losing people. And the reason they don't have the people that they've had from years ago is we could go through a list of reasons. The bottom line is they've cultivated friendships. And they have in their inner circle certain type of individuals. What we're looking for is for you to cultivate relationships. And the certain type of individuals that you are looking for are for people that want to help other people and in the process have abundance flow to them using this simple one-time out-of-pocket $29 platform entry into crowdfunding guarantee. Now, Double Jeopardy is getting ready to hit this next week. That's where the scores will re really matter and start to multiply as we grow exponentially week after week, month after month, starting February the 2nd, the Fund Me to Infinity plan. The first thing you should do when somebody comes into this office if, if, or into this program, if you're going to become a leader, is walk them through their back office. Teach them how to become duplicatable. You make sure that in their back office, they see these little videos right here. Click for a walkthrough video. Each one of these videos are one to three minutes long. There's about 22 minutes of them. Here is the upcoming webinar schedule. Make sure that their enabled button is on. Now we've had some people that say that they want some donations. They want to turn this off after they reach gold. Explain to them the difference between turning it on and off, but some people might need that, but they could have some people pass them up. If somebody gets on the program and says they can't find two, they have just completely wasted your time. So we're going to address that here sh shortly. 
The other part of the equation is you want to make sure that they go through all of this information because what they'll start bugging you with is questions that they could have answered themselves if they'd have done their homework. The FAQ. All the people out there that have no education about crowdfunding says it's a pyramid scheme. We have it up in FAQ why it isn't a pyramid scheme. People says, well, crowdfunding is just a money game. Have you ever heard of GoFundMe? I gave the law, and we're getting ready to put it in the FAQ section, the law that was passed on April of 2012. They can go read it. They can go do their due diligence. Now, you've spent eight seconds instead of five minutes with the bejeeber scared out of you trying to defend your program. Once somebody tells me it's a pyramid scheme, the first thing I ask them is, what's your definition of a pyramid scheme? And you want to be fascinated. Listen to the response you'll get from that. Crowdfunding Guaranteed is a registered co-op. We are all owner members. Myself as a founder, the admin, everybody has to work the program to get contributions just like you do. That's not a pyramid scheme. We are going to have a lot more products coming in that are going to be wholesale products from retail that many of you will use, besides the Moby Rise and this back office. This back office keeps up with everything that you don't have to keep up. It does all the work for you. It's like having a personal secretary. You don't have to go chase your contributions. You don't have to know and chase when the webinar schedules are. You don't have to chase your three-tier views and understand what success targets you're in. You don't have to chase about learning about your project. We have a lead generation program. The V-Card is, is about ready to come back. We have a new URL for the V-Card. It's being put together. and It'll be resurrected here very shortly. It will be a terrific tool. Next month, we have Rapid Funnel. We've got the community tool chest to where you've seen bits and pieces of it for those of you that come to the uh, gold and above meetings to where depending on what tier you reside at, you're going to be able to get access. You'll be able to get access to various information depending on where you currently reside at in the organization. So the first thing you do when you sign somebody up and I've heard people say, well, I've signed up X, and whether X is 2, 4, 8, or 30. My next question is, how many of the X have you trained to duplicate what you're doing? How many of the X are three-waying calls into you or three-waying into calls to above you? Now, if you are the leader and you brought in X, how well do you know the back office in this program? It's a business. Treat it with the respect that it not only demands, but deserves. Because this little business is going to bring you contributions for whatever project that you're looking for. Now, when you click in on the little red button on the previous page, it goes to our videos. You can have the home videos or you can click on videos right here. When you scroll down a little bit, right here it will say goal setting 101 that I did on December the 20th. It's almost 14 minutes long. You should watch this 14 minute video daily. Daily for the first 30 days. It will teach you how to set a goal for those of you that's never set goals and start with one. And repetition is the mother of skill. You do this daily for two weeks and then you celebrate. Take your family out to dinner. Take your spouse, your friend, your mother, your dad, your kids. And you continue the process until you've done it 30 straight days. And congratulations, you are now redesigning your subconscious mind 
to create positive habits. The first video that we watch will now be recorded. Come back and watch that little seven minute video and hear what they talk about. If you want to reside in the upper 2% of people around the world, then you have to get up off your buttocks. You have to turn off the television, which ruined society in the 80s. Between cable channels going up from when we were kids, I'm 62 years old, I'm a baby boomer, maybe having five channels, to 50, to 100, to 500, to who knows how many now, to video games that became a way of taking care of our kids when you had two family members working, the dumbing down of America has been successful. It's ironic that network marketing is growing by leaps and bounds in Asia, China, India, and those nations. Because these people are looking for a way out. Now we have the world at our fingertips. We're getting ready to have leagues in 58 different countries, international leagues. You have videos here in all types of languages. The work has been done to help you succeed long term for those of you that want to succeed. Your mission, should you decide to accept it, is to go out and locate to, help them get to, and rinse and repeat. Now, here's what's amazing to me. When I was doing all these three ways in December, every person that came on early, the majority of them wanted to give me their credentials about what they've done in the past. And I respect that. Blessings to each and every one of you. But how many of those people has taken this program and now shown what they can accomplish? What's the moral to the story? People have an attention span like a microwave. They want instant gratification. They want it now. This program is built to survive long term. It's a building block. It's done the old fashioned way. You start bringing people in, you start cultivating relationships, you start having people, like minded people underneath you who go out and continue the process, and you are an overseer of the flock. You are the shepherd of your flock. As the shepherd of the flock, you must take care of the sheep. You must ensure that they have plenty to eat, plenty to be educated, and someone that they can lean on because from the time they have been born till the time they were 18 years old, they've heard the word no 144,000 times. There is no program in high schools to teach you how to be successful, but for the past 15 years, there's been a game that teaches you how to go into debt to pay for things. Are you kidding me? There is a new generation out there waiting to be located about this little $29 program. There are people next to you that you know to where an additional $150 to $200 a month or three to $500 a month would change their lifestyle. There are people overseas to where $300 a month would not only change their lifestyle, but it would put them at the top in their country. So hold on a second here, I'm gonna make a change. So my project, and I did this in Moby Rise, took me about an hour to do it, and some of you are saying, I can't accomplish this, fine. We have one right now on debt. We're going to have two or three other templates. 
and you can ev eventually use one of those templates where you'll just click it'll be on your website until you can spend enough time to learn this if you spend five minutes a day five minutes a day you can always save your work and if it took you two months at least you've learned how to do it that's the worst case scenario my mission statement for my project is happiness is multiplied by helping others attain success I've had a program for 20 some years called the psychology it was of trading utilizing mindset principles and I also had one psychology of success which was for all genders all types of work utilizing mindset principles and I want to empower lives through the charitable work and all I had to do was click the start and I created this by dragging and putting it over here highlighting with my co uh, co uh, my little arrow here and start typing I want to spend my golden years I'm at 62 years old I have a three-year plan I want to share my knowledge and wisdom being a mentor to others enhancing techniques to attain happiness and success during their journey excelling in life not just existing most people spend more quality time planning a, their vacations than they do designing a life they spend more quality time planning a vacation than they do designing a life now mr. Rohn said what he did for six years is he did what was needed to be done on a daily basis and he did it consistently whatever you give quality attention participation and that's one of my favorite lines most of you know that's been around quality attention participation whatever you decide to give quality attention participation becomes your focus it will encourage consistent financial growth it will encourage you to become better you need to start feeding your mind daily with some type of positive reinforcement you can get it in the back office we're going to have other training you can get it by going to YouTube but you need to start daily getting out of bondage now some of you have been networking off and on for many years so here's what I jotted here over the weekend and what I came up with and before I do that I'm going to switch this real quick and I'm going to show you the approach finding members I did that wrong hold on a second here See if I can get this bear with me for a second here we go first it's important to really understand that everyone over the age of 18 is your potential crowdfunding guaranteed member it's that simple we have in this PowerPoint and also we're going to have in the printout PDF what's called a memory jogger list you are going to be asked to sit down and write down as many people as you know during the process so I want to succeed I want to get leads some of you folks bought the leads we talked about this Saturday you bought leads and then all of a sudden you started sending emails well they are getting bombarded with emails why because they're looking for a home-based business they don't know who they would want to go with they want to go with a leader so your email got lost in the shuffle they're getting pounded with emails but you may should have sent them a personal note or you should have sent them a call and be ready to leave because they're not going to know who you are calling them a lot of them at first and know what to say I'll be recording that not going to go over most of it tonight but I'm going to talk to you a little bit about one approach that's been used we'll have several if you don't knock no doors could ever open 
Jim Rohn just talked about it. If you keep knocking on the door, you will succeed. Here's what happened. I had somebody on Saturday that said that they they talked to 10 people. And all 10 people said that this was a pyramid scheme. And the first thing I said to that person was, if you've talked to 10 people and they've all said it was a pyramid scheme, you need this program more than anybody else because you are with a bunch of losers. I try not to sugarcoat it. I try to tell the truth. Imagine the possibility or the odds of talking to 10 people and they're all saying it's a pyramid scheme. Now, could that have been dramatized a little bit? Possibly. Could it have been enhanced? Maybe. Was it embellished? Probably. But here's the moral to the story. If you start hanging around with people like that, I'm like George Carlin. I can take stupid all of about a minute and a half, and i got to get away because it irritates me. Not everyone will succeed in this business. But here's the fantastic news. Anyone can, as Jim Rohn says. They can. Our mascot states, yes, you can. The question remains, will you? Folks, if you cannot get behind a $29 program, then here's what you're destined for, to work for somebody the rest of your life. It's going to tell you what to do. And I see people all the time, and it's happened in the last 25 years, where companies went out of business. A good friend of mine for 40 years just lost his entire pension plan with one company because the CEO stole from the company, and they had to pay the creditors. And he lost $350,000 that he had built up over the years. Ouch. Oh, my God. So here's one of the approach. Hi, Joe. I've got to talk to you about something extremely important. Is this a good time to talk? This is my warm market. Great. Listen, I need a huge favor from you. Pause, wait for an answer. I just launched a new business from home for the sake of setting up a college fund, for the sake of promoting my book for our three children who are soon about to go to college as you know I found an extraordinary marketing concept that is simple and available to masses around the world it's incredible we have billions of people we can share this with I need your support would you re please review a short video sharing this tremendous concept and let me know what you think because I respect you and your opinion. Now, that was really difficult. There's no sales job. You're talking to your warm market. They watch the video, and you get back with them. Tell me what you think, what you know, what you can prove. Write this down. Here's some of the words that you're going to start using. Tell me what you think, what you know, what you can prove. Tell me what you think, what you know, what you can prove. That little approach is for your war market. Now, somebody brought a three-way to me, and I tested it for the first time. They're on this call tonight, and, and they got the person immediately. person wasn't going to sign up till Friday, okay? He's not going to sign up for Friday. And he told me before we even got him on there, he says, well, if he does it, good friend of his. So I just got him on the call, and I said, hello. I'm one of the founders. Let me ask you three simple questions. What is the most you've ever made in network marketing? What is the most you ever made in network marketing? And the credentials start coming out for most people. Okay, well then recently, what's the most you've ever made? How much do you make a month right now in your current job? Why are you looking? Okay, then what's your number? What's my number? Well, how much do you want to generate monthly 
in a home-based business? Are you looking to supplement your income? What is it, what is it that you're trying to do? And I write those answers down, and then I say, okay, from a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, how much experience do you have talking to people, either on the telephone or talking to people, and not being afraid? With 10 being, I can do it, or 1, it scares the holy bejeebers out of you. Well, this person give me a number right in the middle. So I'm going to use arbitrary numbers here. The arbitrary numbers are $1,000 and $2,000. So the most they've ever made in network marketing is $1,000. So what good is it going to do for me to tell them they can make millions? What good is it going to do for me to tell them that they can be $20,000 a month? They're only a thousandaire. They're a thousandaire. Well, it looks like to me, Joe, that if you made a thousand, that's our first goal. Write that down. You want to make a thousand dollars a month. Your second goal in this program is you'd like to make two thousand a month. And now they have two goals set before they've ever signed up. And they're halfway through the market. I'm glad that you said that because we have a lead generation program and we have a way to test leads and we have it for somebody that's never talked to anybody before where there's really reasonable leads to give you experience. We have leads that are available that have for people that get great on the phone. Plus, you have a warm market if you use our warm joggers market. You probably know 100 to 300 people right around you right now. When can you get started? You qualify. You're ready to go. And I listened to everything. I finally said, okay, are you ready to go right now? You don't need to wait till Friday. Everybody waits. Are you serious? I'm either going to be your best friend or your worst nightmare. I'm going to be your coach and mentor. And those of you that are not a coach and mentor, then use the people above you who are. Edify it. Look, I'm just in the same boat as you are, Joe. I've never made but about $500 a month. But I really see the value in this. You saw this program. It's real simple. It's a one-time out-of-pocket $29. Hey, we got to get this and start sharing. We could learn so we could really generate this. Look at the back end of this Fummy to Infinity plan. I don't understand a word of it, but you know what? I've got Bob over here, and Bob's Bob's really working hard. He said he'd do three ways for me, and, and above him is Jim, and above him is Sarah, and over here is Judy. Judy, she could really edify the program because she's one of the founders. We're in a good group. We've got a leadership group. That's what they're looking for. Because the first question they ask people, how much have you made? It's not about how much you make. We don't sit here and talk about money that way. We talk about contributions and trying to fund our projects. You have your project on your front page. Your project could be you want to take your kids to Disney World. They've never gone. Your project could be that your husband needs a crown. But once not only become a crown, but he needs a dentist, and it's costing an extra seven hundred and fifty dollars besides the insurance. You might want to pay school loans. There's only about three trillion dollars in debt there. How many kids in college would want to pay off school loans? How many kids do you know that want to go to college? Are you kidding me? And the first time people come up with objections, I use the fine felt and found. Well, I feel like you did before, Bob, but what I found is that this program is pretty cool, and I've found that by putting forth a little effort, it doesn't take much. Do you have five to ten hours to, to uh, do this a week consistently? Do you have two or three hours a day, one hour a day? You have 
to qualify the person that you're going to work with if they're going to go underneath you. Now, if these persons don't meet my qualifications, I'm going to help somebody else on my team, let them train them, because they're under the same portfolio. They both need training, but they can help each other. So what does that mean I'm doing? I'm trying to build depth, but I'm trying to find the strongest 20 people I can find that are at the top that's going to work this that sees the vision. And people are going to surprise you. There's going to be people that you were thought was on a scale one to 10 was a three, and they're going to be a nine. And there's going to be people you thought was a 10, and they're going to be a two. But here's what happens with the human mind. We get totally freaked out about the person who's a 10 because you thought they were going to do all the work for you and I'm going to make a lot of contributions. What in the world? They're driving me crazy. They told me they could do this. Well, what am I going to do? Well, you're going to work. You're going to make a commitment. You're going to focus. Because that's what winners do. They don't spend major time on minor things. They don't bring in just two people and hope that they drive them through everything and then want to know why it's not working. They don't go out here and get 30 people, and of the 30 people, 20 of them hadn't brought in one person. Now, you've got the plaque. For referring 30 people and congratulations but how many contributions are you going to have like attracts like like attracts like so if you're not the leader who is the leader on your team that they're going to go to because out of that 30 people when you drop off and you're on to something else some of those 30 people are going to hang in there and they're going to go past you, and they're going to be looking for a leader above you. And there's going to be somebody waiting on it because you decided that this was just a Baskin-Robbins flavor of the week. Are you kidding me? you got to be kidding me. So we have this initial. Here's another initial calling script. I'm getting ready to record all this. Here's our steps to success. Here's our prospect memory list. Are you kidding me? Friends, family, groups, clubs, organizations, volunteer organizations, entrepreneurs, health, health care, stores, shops, professionals, officials. Have you ever went to a restaurant and had somebody wait on you that was an excellent server? They rose above everybody else. Everybody hold your hand up. Of course you have. Either get a little card printed up or write a note or just say, look, I like the way you work. What's your name and what's your cell phone number? I'd like to text you something to take a look at. Boom. It takes 30 seconds. I do it all the time. I find people that excel. I go out and look for managers, people that want to better themselves. I have another good friend of mine. We can't walk into a restaurant together that he doesn't talk to everybody there. He's going to end up being one of the trainers here very, very soon. He is an extraordinary man, an extraordinary trainer. So we have a lot more coming. So when somebody sits here and says, you know what? I don't have two people I can talk to. I'm in the NFL. Not for long is the NFL, but for what is it for network? No friends. What is it? No more friends. You have plenty of people if you pay attention. People will work with people who are leaders. They will gravitate towards people. Now, I have some of you that are in disability that sit there and are great on the phone. You can sit on the phone and talk to people every day and be an asset. I have some of you that run around every day that have jobs. You can be an asset. 
We have people that's been very successful in other businesses. You're an asset. Cultivate the seed. Plant the seed. Because that's the only way you're going to get a good crop is to continue to plant the seed before the harvest. So this Commit to working this for six months with quality attention participation. Complete the goal sheets and share with the person who referred you. Add prospect names to the contact call sheet. Go through the back office training daily. Start a CG folder on your desktop computer. Use notepad to take notes watching videos. Set up your social sites. Connect to the CG social sites. Add names to your contact list. Document your daily, weekly, and monthly goals. Add names to your contact list. Become a leader and work business effectively. Keep track of members you bring in as they are family. Share the video with your prospects. This will all be put up this week, but some of you want to take a few notes. There it is. The bottom line is, yes, you can if you want to. You just now have to tweet. We come into this looking for leaders. We got a surge. Now you've got some of the leaders that haven't done anything. What's next? Your motto is, what's next? You're going to run into obstacles. But you're going to find gold if you keep prospecting. If you keep knocking on the door, you will succeed. You begin the process because you deserve abundance. You service to the many. You service to the many, and it will become back to you in abundance, and it will turn into greatness. You have a warm market. You have people that you see. You have the ability to prosper. All of this is at your fingertips for a one-time out-of-pocket cost of $29. So from this point forward, when somebody says it's a pyramid, have them go to the front office, front page, look under FAQ. It's answered. We're also going to have this on there. They say crowdfunding is illegal. We'll go here. Here is the law that was put into effect on our FAQ. And take a look at it. And then shut up. Let them do their due diligence, and either they're in or they're out. Don't try to sell them. Give them the information to make a fundamental decision based on fact. But your mission is you need to talk to X. So here's what X can do. If you talk to one person a day over 30 days, average, it's 30 people. If you talk to two people a day, it's 60. If you talk to five people a day, on an average, some of you don't work Sundays like myself because it's time for family and spiritual time. But still, on an average, you talk to five people a day, 30 days, that's 150 people. Now, there isn't anybody out there that can tell me that if you average five people a day for 30 days, that you can't get your two or get to a goal. It's impossible. It's mathematically impossible unless this person tries to do it on their own, and they try answering questions, and they rumble, bumble, stumble. And nobody wants to work with them. You have to be completely aloof not to succeed in this program if you want to talk to five people a day. Now think of the possibilities. What if you talk to 10 people a day? On an average, might be one day you talk to 20, one day you talk to five. But on an average, 10 a day for 30 days. Break it down. That's 300 people. You can't get enough people in this to get through and help them become a goal and teach this. Show them what to do in the back office and duplicate 
And then with the training that we're getting ready to have with all the scripts, right now you can get leads in their scripts to download. Now, we are just beginning our training. I started a little bit of it Saturday. People loved it. I've started it tonight. And guess what? We're going to have more training. So imagine the possibilities of how much the training will be next Monday night when we have our call. After the February 2nd Blitz, the Fund Me to Infinity plan, which might start off slow with some of you. You might only get $30 a month. But $30 a month pays your $29. You are a gold member and you're working to get other people gold. Now we begin the process of training you to do what? We want to teach you how to become gold. If I can get up here. In seven days. How to get started. Your coach, your support team, your contact, our calls, our training, our back office, and a lot more is coming. There will be absolutely positively no reason why everybody here cannot succeed. The only ones who won't succeed will be the ones who choose not to participate. Now, you've seen the Fund Me to Infinity plan numbers with just 100 people or 300 people or 400 people or all the way up to 2,000 or 4,000. Imagine the exponential growth if we grow from 20,000 to 40 to 60 to 80 to 100 to, you know, got a boom, got a beam. So your mission, should you decide to accept it, is am I going to make this quality attention participation time? Am I going to see value in working this and helping others and in the process have it come back to me and build me a team? So here's what you're doing in the process down the road. When and if you choose to do another program, you'll have people that will follow you. It will be called a, this could be a feeder program, a built-in program that you've developed relationships. Because people trust you. People look up to you. It takes a certain kind of individual to take on the responsibility to become a leader. Some do, some don't. There's some of you out here that's made a lot of money. A lot of money in network marketing. I've heard all your credentials. But yet, you're still looking for the next best thing. I'm looking for a home. I'm looking for a place where I can hang my hat because like Jim Rohn, I'm blessed. I was retired. I come out of retirement. Got caught being sick here the last couple of years. Had a few medical bills I had to pay and I had a, a budget coming out and overspent my budget. So I had to go back lean for a while. But now I came into the new year and I started over again. I still got money coming in every month. But it allows me the opportunity to do what I want, when I want, and also participate in this. And to me, this has been like a full-time job. I enjoy working the 16, 20 hours a day. I enjoy putting this training together. I enjoy being a coach, mentor to help you. So if you enjoy the training and you enjoy listening to me get on the soapbox sometimes, or if you enjoy what I bring to the table, then why not join me in the journey? There's plenty here for us to do together as a team. I don't have all the answers. Don't claim to. But I will tell you one thing. You won't find anybody out there that's going to outwork me. So if there's any questions, let me get these questions over here. We'll answer any questions and we'll get you on your way. We did this for one hour. The trainings will be one hour.